What's up, everyone? Back for another beer review, and today is Wednesday, which of course means it's time for another Western New York Wednesday here on the channel. And the beer I'm reviewing today comes once again from the Froth Brewing Company, and they're out of Buffalo, New York. And this is their Imperial Liquid Lollipop, the strawberry, strawberry papaya, banana, and passion fruit variant. So this is an Imperial Sour Ale that is brewed with the aforementioned four fruits. Comes in at eight percent alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in the time of review. This crawler is exactly. 12 days old. So as you can see, the beer has already been poured and that's for a couple different reasons. First and foremost, I don't have the greatest experience when it comes to these heavily fruited sour ales in crawlers. Um, I reviewed a couple of the Mortalis Hydras that kind of exploded on me and I actually opened them off camera and I'm glad I did because I lost about a third of the beer into my sink uh, for both of those uh, crawlers. And um, it's just one of those things where it would make for some uh, great TV, so to speak. You know, you guys would probably love to see this explode all over the place. But for me, I don't want to clear, uh, you know, clean this entire room, the table, the tablecloth, the whole nine. So I have been opening these off camera and I probably will continue to do so when it comes to these heavily fruited sours, especially when they're in crawlers, just to, you know, play it safe. Another reason, and it's just as important as the first, is that when I reviewed the uh, base um, Imperial Liquid Lollipop, one of their variants, uh, the, the only one I've reviewed on the channel, um, when I poured this into this glass, I believe it was this glass, I, I, you know, I basically poured half the crawler, so 16 ounces, and the second half of the crawler was way different than the first half, and that's because all of the fruit sediment and the puree and everything settled to the bottom. Even though I rolled this, I actually turned this upside down for like five minutes before uh, I actually did the review. Didn't matter. Everything settled to the bottom of the crawler, and uh, I just decided that I would open this off camera and kind of, um, you know, pour it in two separate glasses. Now, Average Pops is gonna have uh, half of this crawler. So what I did is I poured a little bit in his glass, my glass back and forth, and I think we have a true representation of what this beer should look like and what it should taste like and the mouthfeel and everything. So that is the other reason. So now I'm done making excuses. Let's talk about the beer real quick. So. Like I said, I reviewed their Imperial Liquid Lollipop. I forget the variant um, exactly. It was like raspberry and passion fruit and something else. I uh, can't remember exactly, but I said in that video uh, that you know it was tough paying $18 for a 4.2% 4, 4 fruited um, sour ale. I mean, it was. That's, that's you know quite expensive for something that's 4.2%, even with all the fruit puree they're using and whatnot. And apparently I wasn't the only one because when they posted this on social media, the Imperial version, they were like, a lot of you have been clamoring for it, so here it is. So this is 8%, almost double the ABV, and they only charge two extra bucks for the crawler. So 20 bucks for this one compared to 18 for the last one. And I think this is well more worth it than the last $20 for a crawler if anything's kind of expensive, but that's kind of the going rate. We'll talk about that at the end. I just thought it was cool they finally did an imperial version. And like I said, this one uses strawberry, strawberry papaya, banana, and uh, passion fruit. I've never had strawberry papaya, so yeah. Anyway, let me put this over here and uh, we'll, you know, look at it, give it the whole smell and taste and everything. So yeah, that, I mean, that is a uh, fruited, heavily fruited sour. So that kind of looks like straight up, uh, like a strawberry banana smoothie. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. You can see the residue, uh, the remnants of all the uh, the fruit, the pulp, so to speak. Uh, very murky and turbid. Uh, looks fantastic. Kind of looks like a fruit smoothie. Let's get a nose. I poured this all the way to the top to, you know, 16 ounces for me, 16 ounces for uh, pops, but um, didn't leave me a lot of room for the nose. Oh man, that's a, holy fuck, is that green? Uh, tons, and I mean tons of like this like fleshy banana papaya type of thing going on. The strawberry is like kind of hanging over top of it, but it has a really fleshy, meaty kind of uh, fruit character to it. It kind of is very reminiscent of a, stra a strawberry banana smoothie, fruit smoothie. It just, it's making my mouth water. It just kind of has that sensation to the aroma. Just, it smells sweet, but reserved. And remember, this is an imperial sour. So it has a tartness there. Uh, the passion fruits probably bring a little bit of that. It is the last fruit that is listed so it's probably the least amount of uh, fruit that's actually in here but uh, i get like a little bit of like a passion fruit tartness too yeah it doesn't smell like beer and i know when it comes to these beers specifically the slushies the fruit purees the fruit smoothies a lot of people have problems with it and a lot of people don't for me as long as it's delicious i don't really care but i will <laughs> argue that does this even taste or smell or i should say smell because I have not tasted yet, full disclosure, not tasted yet. I just smell it. Um, does this smell like beer? No. When I taste it, will it taste like beer? Probably not. But will it be delicious? I'm betting. So anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's a... Oh. Oh. Mm. 
It is a strawberry banana fruit smoothie in beer form. Now, I am getting a nice like imperial uh, sour kick to it. This one's higher side of tart, lower side of sour. So it actually has a, a decent firm to almost low sourness on this one. I meant to say firm tartness into lower sourness. Body on this one, 8%. It's thick. It's viscous. This is like low to medium full body. Yeah, it's nice. The mouthfeel, it seems to be a little bit undercarbed. I think the last one was a little bit undercarbed too. And that's kind of when you see these fruit smoothies, they don't have a ton of carbonation. This is like low carbonation, which is fine. It enhances the feeling that you're drinking a fruit smoothie, right? So I'm okay with that. Um, so the mouth feels very soft, smooth, and creamy. It's fruit smoothie-esque. But it is strawberry and banana, banana personified strawberry banana smoothie. There is still that fleshy papaya banana. I've never had a strawberry papaya, so I don't know exactly what a strawberry papaya tastes like. I know what a regular papaya tastes like. It has a papaya kick to this one. And that tartness is kind of reminiscent of like a passion fruit tartness. Right up front, that strawberry banana hits, carries on through the palate. That's where the fleshy um, papaya comes in. And then it finishes with that tart passion fruit uh, kind of, um, I'm gonna say it's more of, like I said, a higher, firm to higher tartness and low sourness. Uh, it finishes, there is a pretty big residual sweetness, which you'd expect from beer like this, but it has a nice balance between that sweetness and that like acidic kind of uh, tartness. Um, yeah, this is delicious. I'm not tasting any of the 8% on the palate. There is a warming into the chest, which is fine, but I am, I could crush this in a matter of minutes. Like this is super easy to drink. It's not the most complex uh, sour or any one of these, you know, slushy fruited, you know, crazy beasts of uh, a sour beer. It's not super complex and overly so, but it's not meant to be. It has those four fruits. I'm pretty much getting most of the four fruits. And yeah, I mean, look at look, look at all the fruit um, pulp there from the uh, beer itself. This is an awesome beer. Uh, when it comes to froth, uh, you know, they get a little bit of local hype here, but I mean, this is on the level, honestly, of some of the Mortalis Hydras I've had, some of the 450 North Slushies. This is better than some of those I've had. This is next level shit when you're talking about the fruit smoothie uh, sours. This is up there with some of the best. It's 8%. I can't taste the 8%. I feel a little bit, like I said, in the chest and in the stomach, but this is just delicious. Not much more to say about it. Uh, Imperial Liquid Lollipop, the strawberry, strawberry, papaya, banana, and passion fruit variant. I'm going to give this a low 4.75 out of 5 and go 4.65 out of 5. It's fucking delicious beer. If you are coming to the Western New York area, more specifically Buffalo, and you don't put these guys on your list of breweries to check out, then I think you're doing yourself a disservice, especially when it comes to this series. A lot of the other beers I enjoy, they have a lot of different offerings. And, you know, they're doing the new age um, kind of styles. They're doing the fruited sours, the pastry stouts, the hazies, and so on and so forth. But this series itself is kind of putting them on the map here in Buffalo. And they don't have a lot of hype, you know, as far as like even throughout New York State or maybe into uh, the northeastern part of the United States. But they should. Because if they did, these would be flying off the shelf. I walked into Froth two days after they announced the release of this one and easily got a crawler, could get as many crawlers as you want. And yeah, it's a, it's a fucking fantastic beer. Like it really, really is. So um, yeah, anyway, I want to correct myself. I did say at the beginning that this was um, 12 days old. This was actually um, a pre-filled, I believe, crawler. And uh, that is actually exactly two weeks old at the time of review. So this is two weeks in the crawler, still drinking amazingly well. If you've had this one before, anything from Froth, let me know what you think about it. They are doing some really good things, especially with this liquid lollipop series. It's cool they're doing the Imperial uh, series, so that's awesome. Uh, price and availability, availability, brewery only, you have to go there, but they usually have stuff, you know, a, a couple days afterwards, so you should be fine. And a price point, talked about it earlier, $20 for this crawler. It's better than their base um, liquid lollipop, which is 4.2% and $18. This was $20. Would I buy that or pay that all the time? No. Would I pay that for this beer to try once? Yes. And I did, and I would do it again. Like if I knew how good this beer was, easily pay 20 bucks. But if you were to, you know, knock this down into 16 ounce cans, this is a $10, 16 ounce can. You know, compared to some of the 454, uh, 450 North slushies, those are what, five, six bucks a can max. So you're paying almost double the price. Is it worth that? Probably not in the grand scheme of things, but I've noticed when I've seen people buy crawlers of beers like this, they are 18, $20, that's what they are. So it, it's market value. They're not overcharging in comparison to other places. It's just, 
this kind of style, $20, $18 for a crawler, that's kind of the going rate. Um, it, it is what it is. So if you, if you want to pay that, awesome. If you don't, I totally understand. For me, I'll probably pick up some new releases here and there if something sounds interesting from them, and I'll definitely review it. So once again, appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review. 4.65 out of 5 for this version of Imperial Liquid Lollipop from Froth. Once again, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another Western New York Wednesday as well. Until the next one, cheers.